Hello, Kulas. Welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest as usual. We are going to start with 22 year old Barcelona Loni Alex Collado, as it has been reported that he will join the first team squad for pre season. We are going to be discussing on that. Secondly, talking about another Barcelona Loni, Francisco Trincajo, it has been reported that Barcelona want to sell the 22 year old winger in the summer. We are also going to be discussing on that. Thirdly, talking about this transfer report, claiming that Barcelona, as opposed to other reports that came out earlier today, are not interested in signing this Stuttgart left back by name Borna Sosa. We are going to be discussing on that. Then finally, we are going to be talking about this former La Masia goalkeeper by name Josep Martinez. He is now second choice goalkeeper of RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga. He recently had an interview with Sport, of course, where he was trying to talk about a possible return to Barcelona, saying that he wished to return one day at the club. We are going to be discussing much on that as well. So, Colors, as we get right into it in much detail, please do well to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Awesome. Speaking during an exclusive interview with Barca Times, journalist Tony Juan Manzi has shed some light on the future of Barcelona winger Alex Collado beyond the ongoing campaign. The 22-year-old is a product of Barca's famed La Masia youth setup and looks set to become a key member of the first team squad for years to come after the promise he has shown with the B team last season. However, ex-manager Ronald Koeman did not favor Collado and tried to ship him off on loan in the summer window. The Spaniard saw a deal to join Club Brugge fall through, why the same happened on the deadline day when he was close to signing for Sheffield United. It left Collado you know, in quite a limbo as he was not registered to play for Barcelona senior team or the B team either. After not being involved in any form of professional football for months, the youngster secured a loan switch to Granada in January. The La Masia ace has you know, featured fairly regularly for his loan club, making 10 appearances in which he has one assist, but his future beyond the loan stands remains a quandary. Now, journalist Tony Juan Marti has claimed that as things stand, the plan is for Collado to join Barcelona first team squad for the pre-season ahead of the 2022-23 campaign. It would seem that manager Javi Hernandez would take a closer look at the 22-year-old before deciding on the next course of action for him. Considering that Barcelona are working to renew Osman Dembele's contract and are plotting to sign Rafinha from Leeds United, Collado might not find a, a space in the attacking unit next season. However, he is versatile enough to play in midfield as well. The Spaniard has admitted to losing his desire to train under Coman, but there is a chance for him to start afresh and make an impression on Xavi to earn himself a spot in Barca squad for next season. Then on to the next story of discussion, speaking during an exclusive interview with Barca Times. Journalist Tony Juan Marti has claimed that Barcelona are keen on selling Portuguese winger Francisco Trincao in the summer. Trincao signed for Barca from SC Braga in the summer of 2020, arriving with a great reputation of being, you know, one of the most exciting attacking prospects in Portuguese football. The 22-year-old found it difficult to get going at the Camp Nou. Indeed, the young winger was unable to get a regular run of games in Coman's side when he did play. You know, he was not always able to make the best impression. Why he did make 42 appearances in the 2020-21 season, only three of those were starts in La Liga. Last summer saw Trincao being loaned out to Premier League club Wolves, you know, who also have an option to make the purchase permanent for a fee of 25 million pounds. The Portuguese international has been unable to get going in England either, producing a part return of two goals and an assist from 26 matches in all competitions. It had been muted that Wolf and Barca, you know, could consider a swap deal involving Trincao and Adama Traore. However, recent reports have indicated that the Premier League club do not intend to sign the 22-year-old on a permanent basis. It means that he will be returning to the Camp Nou at the end of this season. But with Barcelona pursuing Rafinha and planning to extend Dembele's contract, there will not be any space for Trincao once he returns. Antonio Juan Marti is claiming that Barca intend to sell the winger in the summer transfer window. Finding suitors for the Portuguese could prove tricky for Barca. It remains to be seen what the future holds for Trincao. 
but a permanent move to Wolf, you know, could be off the cards. Then on to the next story of discussion, Barcelona were rumored to be looking for a left back in the form of Borna Sosa, you know, who has been sensational for Stuttgart all across the campaign. Despite how mesmeric his performance have been, he might not be a Barca player next season. According to latest report, Barca are in fact not interested in signing the Croatian defender. Sosa's statistics are simply jaw-dropping. In the 23 games he played for Stuttgart, he has scored one goal and given seven assists. In addition to this, he has provided 2.1 key passes per game, made zero errors leading to goal over the whole campaign, win 3.7 duels per match, and has almost a tackle per game. Understandably, with numbers like these, Barcelona could have wanted him to join their, their course. Notwithstanding, their quest for a left back is far from finished. Given Jordi Alba is still racking up master classes, you know, even at his age of 33, Barcelona can rely on Sergio Nordes as a complimentary makeshift left back, at least until a long term option is found. Matteo Alemani has been looking at Ajax Grimaldo, um, apparently, a former left back at Barcelona who now plays for Benfica. Javi Galan has also been linked with a move with no concrete advanced interest though. Then on to the final story of discussion, speaking in an interview with Sport, former La Marcia trainee Jose Martinez has opened the door for a possible return to Barca in the future. The 23-year-old spent two years at Barca's famed youth academy before leaving for Las Palmas in 2017 to find a faster pathway to the first team. The goalkeeper spent three years at the club and made 30 senior appearances. In 2020, Martinez signed for German giants RB Leipzig you know, where he has had to play second fiddle to Peter Glusheski, restricting him to just four appearances to the club so far. The Spaniard recently sat down for an interview with Sport, during which he discussed varying topics, including his time at Barca and a potential return to Catalonia in the future. Speaking of his time in La Masia, he said, I was there too, yes, the first um, coincided with the FIFA sanction. I couldn't play for a few months. That time was very good for me at the learning level. Playing for Barca was the first big step in my, you know, at the moment, short career. It helped me make the leap to professional football. I made great friends who are now in the first team. When Chris, if he wished to return to the club in the future, Martinez said, You never know, one seeks to be happy and enjoy football. If the opportunity were given, it would be nice. But now I am very, very well here. I want to try to succeed at Leipzig and repay the trust they have placed in me. Touching upon the friendships he, he forged during his time at Barca, he said, With Inaki Pena, Arno Tena, Shrigi Push, Mingesa, Gavi, I met, I met Pedro in Las Palmas. With Nico, I do not think I had no contact. Martinez was then asked what he thought of the Barcelona team under Xavi Hernandez. He replied, Xavi has brought a plus of freshness to the team. The winter reinforcements have helped him. I follow La Liga a lot and Barca is in very good dynamics. I think that in the Europa League, you know, he will also go far. If we are lucky enough to eliminate Atalanta and qualify for the Europa League semi-finals, they will be a team to beat. Martinez also had high praise for Barca, Prodigy Pedri, whom he played with Las Palmas. When Pedri went up to the Las Palmas first team, everyone was crazy about him, he said. He handled the ball very easily and made passes that no other player was able to see. The 23-year-old also spoke about Barcelona's first-choice goalkeeper, Mark andre Ter Stegen, saying he is a very safe goalkeeper. He has spent many years showing that he has a high level, like any athlete. He has ups and downs, but now he is at the highest level of the team. Very well for me, he is a top goalkeeper. When quizzed if it was difficult for young goalkeepers to make it into the first team due to you know the presence of the German international, he's, he said, La Masia always generates great footballers, also in the goalkeeper position, Arno Tenas, Inaki Pena, and so on. In goal, if there were if there is no injury, it is very difficult for the youngsters to have minutes. For that reason, I think Inaki made a good decision by going out on loan to get minutes. It is difficult to compete for the position of a proven goalkeeper at the highest level. Martinez then added that he would like to face Barcelona in the UEFA Europa League final, you know, this season, he said. Yes, of course. I met quite a few Barca players and I have a good relationship with some of them. Winning the Europa League against one of the best teams in the world would be very nice. 
it will be my first title with Live Day. So colors, with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please endeavor to do so. So you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye. Barca.